This one's a great fun story, and I'm gonna give you the story real quick, and then what's gonna follow after is our original video tour on this 2016 Springdale. Um, we were the uh, selling dealer to its one and only uh, owner. They took this thing and in nine months put uh, a couple thousand miles on it and said, you know, um, we absolutely love camping, but work was calling them away and they found out this was actually bigger than what they really needed. This is roughly about, I don't know, between 30, 35 feet, tip to tail, tongue and bumper included. And uh, they said, we're gonna be back in the fall. We're gonna pick out a new smaller camper. And they, they didn't even intend on dropping this off here and listing it in the Haylet RV consignment program today. Uh, they were just driving through. They wanted to stop and say hi and thank us for the trailer and said, well, why don't we list that for you and sell it for you guys? They said, well, okay. So they just emptied this thing out, cleaned it out on the spot. They had their whole life in the back of their pickup truck bed and here this thing sits. This is a uh, very interesting uh, case here. Um, only owned about uh, nine months or so. It was like a holdover model. You can see hitching included with this. So if you've got like a half ton pickup or anything, you are all set to go there. You're going to find a bunch of extras included. Like they had all their custom built wood wheel chocks and all kinds of accessories included. Um, like if you get down in here, you're going to see a bunch of uh, leveling blocks included and all the like power adapters and stuff like that. The folks also put some nice upgrades into this that you'll see on top of the full video that will follow after this. Uh, when we come to the back here, you'll see that they added a, uh, a Furion backup camera system that has a nice little handheld wireless monitor you can use in your vehicle. Um, on top of the RV, let me see if I can get back here far enough. Maybe, maybe not. Over all three roof vents, you can barely see the tip of that white thing sticking up there. They added Max Air vent covers over all three uh, uh, vents, and uh, the two vents, meaning the that weren't power vents in the bedroom and uh, living room, they upgraded to include Max Air fans. So they added a backup camera, two big fans, three, I ran out of fingers, three roof vent covers, um, weight distribution hitch, uh, probably close to six to eight hundred dollars of extra accessories and they're just walking away from all of it right now they say you know we like doing this we don't have any use for this stuff in the immediate future and with the smaller size trailer they're looking at none of this stuff would really work for him anyway so they said forget it let all of it go with it we're just going to be done with it so this is a really cool opportunity to get a, a like new trailer at a used price tag. This still qualifies for same as new RV financing, by the way. So if you want a new RV, but you're scared about the whole depreciation thing, well, don't worry about it. Get this one instead. Um, big giant living room couples camper, great opportunity. There's a link in the uh, video description that says check for price and availability. Click that, you'll see if we got it, you'll see what the folks are asking in our consignment program, and you're good to go. I mean, they've even washed and repacked the, uh, repacked the axles twice for mileage. They did everything they're supposed to do. This is, this is a great little camper, guys. It took care of them, they loved it, and they're just ready for something a little smaller when they get back to camp in this fall. So uh, hold tight, full video tour following right Meow. Springdale 311 RE here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Like all of my videos, this one may be different from the unit we have in stock. So keep in mind, this is just kind of here for stock and educational purposes. Um, let's, uh, let's get dug in. This has an adventure package. This is one of those upgrades that may be different from the one we have in stock. Adventure package is a big bundle of stuff that adds a whole bunch of fun things. Like we've got a uh, power awning with LED lighting that has easy just arms. Uh, by that I mean you can literally just take two fingers and pull down on the awning arm and you can pitch the awning 10 or 12 uh, inches there. We have an inside outside TV station. The television inside the entire swing arm out and everything removes hooks on here you've got all your hookups and you have an outdoor uh, entertainment center right below your big led lit awning now the fact that they uh they they put the slide all the way to the back here on the door side means that we still maintain a big awning usually door side slide outs means uh, we lose awning space not the case here uh, 30 inch wide baggage doors and uh, you see that is uh, that persists almost all the way through here So we have a very generous uh, front storage compartment for all your totes and things We've upgraded two power stabilizer jacks with an enclosed underbelly Springdale's uh, use a little bit larger furnace a 5,000 BTU larger furnace than uh, what's typically found in this class from Pretty much anybody else really uh, just to help give you that extra oomph when it comes to the, the heating capacity. And they, they do um, uh, have a heat duct down to their holding tanks in there. 
larger 30 pound propane tanks here so you can spend 50 percent more time on your campsite and less time at the uh, gas station swapping out propane tanks uh, we've also put a power tongue jack on here to make life easy this comes in about 8300 pounds by the way because you have two big slides and she is a pretty long girl um what i like about this one this is a great like seasonal campsite uh type trailer you know if you folks are the type where like you know you have a lake you want the big windows and and you're parked by a lake or something and then you move it once each year for storage this is the one it's perfect um little outdoor utility shower there nothing too fancy uh, on this side would need to spend too much time on i will point out the nice aluminum wheels on a spread axle design that's enhancing our stability going down the road because the axles are spread further apart keeps the trailer from porpoising and throwing you all over in the vehicle so it's just more comfortable more enjoyable nobody gets uh nobody enjoys getting tossed around in transit um you see the dual opposing slides here with like i said windows everywhere so very good scenic viewing coming out of this one um as we uh, swing back around this side of the trailer i want to mention a couple just little detail things you don't think about first Let's look at the, the thickness of this aluminum band here on the side. It's about uh, the height of my hand uh, in, in comparison to the scale of this video. As we get up top, you see how these two up here, they're much, much smaller, and there's two of them. They do that to help counteract heat expansion, because as the sidewall gets hot, it, the materials want to expand, just like everything. That's why bridges are pre-cracked and sidewalks are pre-cracked. Same thing. Well, they use smaller bands up here, so there's less stress where the roof meets the sidewall, and that's a huge potential leak point so now it's just been eliminated they also like to use the uh, anti-slip uh, aluminum steps on here as of this 16 season another one of those adventure package items they work they work really well it's it's turning uh, the time of year here in michigan where sun's starting to turn to rain and soon to sleet and then the snow word that we don't like to say out loud unless we have to and uh it's been raining like crazy and these things work i've been in and out of a bunch of trailers with those working fine um Coming inside, one of the things I want to point out is they've uh, upgraded to all LED interior lighting, which, it, I mean, it just it makes a big difference. You know, it would be kind of dark and gloomy in here otherwise. They also have this little wireless remote control over here. You can run things like your patio awning lights with it. Um, which, you know, that's the second one of those I've dropped like that. You'd think I'd learn how to do this one-handed after a while, but my wife would think a lot of things about me that don't come true, too. <laughs> Uh, but no, you've got little um, remote control option here for your patio lights. It can operate your awning, um, slide outs. It, it can do up to five different things depending on how this specific trailer is equipped. Another thing I like, right when you walk in the door, you've got all, all, you got, well, you got power outlets for phone charging right next to the door. But all of your bells and whistles and buttons and switches and everything are just in one spot. And we got a big table type stand here, an extension of the countertop where you can set all that stuff, or you could have a coffee maker by the door or anything like that. I like how this is laid out. Um, this is called the coffee decor. Um, very popular, and it's not like anything in the RV industry right now. Would you like your camper brown or browner? And this one is brown. And, <laughs> um, well, this actually might be browner. <laughs> but uh, everything's pretty neutral right now. Um, they uh, complement it with a nice leatherette, though, on your um, your uh, hide-a-bed sofa. That's a trifold memory foam hide-a-bed sofa. It's another one of those upgrades from a jackknife we put in here. Uh, your standard table in the Springdale is this neat elliptical uh, base table. It's called a do-more dinette. That's their cute word for it. What I like about it, it's freestanding, but it's stable because it has a nice wide footprint down here. So it's not inclined to wiggle, you know, if you're moving around. And uh, you can move it over here for island space. You could actually fold it down and set it in front of like the sofa for like a, a coffee table. You know, it's a very multi-purpose thing. Springdale's the only constructed, aka non-laminated trailer, with a uh, barreled interior ceiling, the vaulted interior roof. They're the only ones to do that. Keystone's actually the original inventor of that, by the way. Very cool. Um, back here, the rear entertainment. You see that big TV? Now, in most Springdale's, you don't usually get a TV this big. This is special for this floor plan. You get a bigger screen in the 311. That's a neat little side benefit here. Um, but uh, you see that it is, again, mounted on that swing arm. So a lot of rear entertainments I, I don't like because the TV is flat. And rear entertainments look good when you're shopping. But if it doesn't have that swing arm when you're sitting down, you have to crane your neck sideways because your body wants to face this way. So you have to twist your neck around. But with that swing arm, you can always have that TV facing the primary seating area that you prefer. Um, there are outlets on the sides here. So again, we have good like device charging stations and good storage back here. I like that. 
uh, electric space heating fireplace in the 311 to help knock down the uh, the chill out of the air. Uh, between, uh, you've got your nice Jensen roughly 40 inch television here, and we have a Jensen Bluetooth enabled DVD player here. So you don't need to bring along extra electronics. This thing plays movies here, and it plays your music inside outside. It can Bluetooth to your phone or whatever device you have. Um, it's pretty slick stuff. Your windows, you see back here, even these rear windows open for ventilation. And when you want privacy, you got privacy. I like that coffee accent. Those are sharp. Um, these are all satellite prep, by the way. The dead giveaway of a camper satellite prep is you look for a little wire that plugs right back into itself. That's a satellite jumper. That's where you put the brain. Um, in theory, you want them near the television. That's a little easier. So over here, I love this slide out because it's all chairs and windows. It's, it's just it's everything that you're looking for in a camper, really. You're looking for a nice place to sit, and you're looking for scenic views. And you got both of them in one convenient location. <laughs> the um, kitchen area, at a glance, you're looking at this going, huh, that seems a little small. But it's actually kind of split up a little bit. Here's where you're going to have all of your countertop and like cabinet space. I like this big tall one over here. Um, you can uh, put some, you can stack some big stuff in there. But you know, you do have a couple drawers here for your forks and spoons and knives. Your uh, sink is a big shepherd's hook style with that removable uh, pull-out type faucet. They use a big single basin sink in here so you can actually clean big pots and pans. A lot of manufacturers are switching over to this because you can't actually clean big stuff in it. Um, the uh, uh, flip side here, this is where the rest of your kitchen is. You've got a big pantry right behind you, and it's actually very cook-centric. Just standing in one spot, you can reach pretty much everything without having to move around a lot. So if you're, if you're one of those people you just like preparing and you like being in your own little world, this is a great model for you. Big pantry here, a lot of mac and cheese. Now, part of the adventure package is the... Um, seven cubic foot refrigerator freezer the dead giveaway here is that it has little kind of retro ish style easy operate handles which i thought about that and i thought you know um if you've got like arthritis and your hands bother you sometimes it doesn't get any easier than this refrigerator right here um i mean not being a jerk if let's say you're a veteran of our armed forces let's say you know hypothetically maybe you lost an arm and and you know in your service to our country and you have a hook with a hook, you can still open this thing. I mean, it is that easy. That's the point I'm getting at, just with a terribly violent description. My apologies. Um, <laughs> the uh, other thing I like about this is they broke it up with a very modern um, stainless steel insert. And if you listen, that is the actual stainless. That I, I've seen manufacturers, they like to uh, put a plastic in here that's just silver-colored plastic. It's not the same. This is... That's a, that's a nice touch. And you're going to see that mirrored on your microwave and your oven as well. So it's nice and consistent. Here's another thing I like about this model. You walk in, bam, bathroom, right there. And it's going to cut down on so much foot traffic because you're walking right in, you're walking right out, and it's there's no carpet. You know, other than the, the rear living room area to keep your toes warm, this is not carpeted, so it's easy clean. You can just take a broom and sweep it out the door and be done with it. There you go. Leave it at the campsite. We've also got lots of leg room in this bathroom, which I like. And you notice that we do have both central air and heat vents everywhere. On these big Springdales, we will typically upgrade to a 15,000 BTU air instead of a 13.5. Always double check our options list, because that's something that you can't see the difference. But trust me, you can feel the difference. Um, the uh, shower is a little bit taller, because again, it does have that domed interior ceiling. And with both the power vent fan and the skylight in here, you really don't need to run lights. It's still nice and comfy and bright in here. Um, I like the big window in the uh, hallway area here. I like this a lot. It just, it lets in a lot of ambient light. And again, you wake up in the morning, you want to see what it looks like outside. What a perfect place to do it, you know. Um, also, little coat hooks right when you walk in the door. Good touch. Um, front bedroom here. The, uh, uh, all the uh, bedrooms in a Springdale whose model numbers start with a 3. So this is a 311. That means this is 50 amp service. If your Springdale's model number starts with a 3, it is 50 amp service. Neat little trick to remember. Um, what that means is that this is prepped and ready to add a second air conditioner. That would essentially occupy this roof vent. That's why they put this here as a pre-prep for an AC. And if you don't want the AC, great. Now we have extra airflow in our bedroom. So there's really no downfall to it. Um, again, you can see that this is an easy place to see that barreled interior ceiling. And they accent the front and rear walls. Did you notice that? To make it look a little deeper and darker. It helps add some, uh, you know, adding contrast is a good way to add depth and shape and character to it. 
Um, easy walk around bed too. This side of the bed has a neat little surprise. They have a little laundry chute right here. So you can keep your laundry basket down in your little pass-through storage compartment. And remember, you can get it in and out because we do have that wider baggage door. Toss all your dirty clothes down there. When you're ready to leave, you grab one basket and you're done. Both sides of the bed have power outlets. What I love is that the outlets are right up next to your head. So you guys with your CPAP machines, or if you're like me and you like to dabble around on your phone at night when it's plugged into the charger, this is perfect. This is perfect. A lot of manufacturers seem to put them over here. That makes the most sense to me. That's the best place I've ever seen for them. Um, we also have an extra LED reading light here. And before I forget, yes, you can put a TV up here. Probably going to put maybe 19, 20 inch, something like that on the wall there. But they do have a little uh, mounting bracket built into the wall. But um, all the cool widgets in the world, they don't, they, don't, they don't mean a hill of beans if the trailer can't stay out of a service center. And that's my favorite part about Springdale's. It's kind of why I was talking about the little aluminum bands at the ceiling uh, on the outside. These things just don't come back for service. That's my favorite part about them. These are among our very most reliable travel trailers out there. And uh, they're also one of Keystone's oldest brands. They're one of the original 13 names from Keystone. They're a legend. And Springdale is the number one seller at Keystone. You hear a lot about the Cougars and Montanas and Fifth Wheels. They don't scratch the surface of how many Springdales are sold. It's pretty impressive. Um, give us a call, learn a little bit more. 800-256-5196. Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care. Stay safe. Happy camping, everybody. Have some fun.